G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to make a loop, the actual lock rommel, and how to bury the tail of the Dyneema here. So you're able to make a structural ridge line the same as I made here for my hammock. So using the same measurements as I used for the one I made yesterday for my hammock, I've measured three inches. And as you probably see, I've marked it on the table to make it easier for me along the cord. And this is the piece that's going to eventually be buried inside. So that's what it ends up looking like with nothing hanging out, no tail. And this section here is going to be a two inch loop. So the way I get that first is I measure the three inches for the tail and then I've measured another four inches to make the two inch loop because the four inches doubled over it, it makes the two inches. So first of all I'm going to thin this end out a little bit to make it easier to pull through. This dynamic cord is made up of different strands. So I just want to pull out two or three of those. There's one. There's two. Let's pull this one with it. And there's three. Let's get the knife and cut that off. And what I've done there is taking in three strands out has made that piece slimmer. So when I bring it through, it's going to be much easier to pull. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is take this end through this point and bring the three inch mark out to the opposite side. So to be sure when you're doing this to keep an e even number of strands on either side of this. And just pull it through. Just being gentle. As you can see I put my finger through the loop so it didn't get pulled through too far. And now where the first mark, the three inch mark is, I'm going to bring this through again. Spread the Dyneema and bring that through. And remember to keep even numbers of thread on either side, which I haven't done now. So that's, that's it, now I have. And now we take the opposite end and we'll pull this through.
and that's how you make a locked Brummel and how we lock that is we just pull that tight and that's done with your two inch loop on the end and now this end here we're going to bury into here and as I showed you on this one this piece here on here, this one has been buried down the centre of the cord so now let's show you how I did that ok there's the full length of the 3 inches comes to here I'm going to allow roughly an extra inch and a bit and then we're going to open that and this time instead of taking it all the way through we're going to push it in the centre of the cord and we're going to take that all the way up making sure we don't come out the sides and just before this tail brought it out and now all we have to do is connect that there and carefully pull that through the inside so we come out the other end just give that a pull to make it nice and tight and now to get that inside this is called milking I believe we're just going to run our fingers down and there it is, it's buried inside the Dyneema cord Now I'll do it again, show you on the other end. I'll take a couple of these strands out. and this side that's two there's two strands out to make that a little bit thinner to work with so again we'll make the same measurements the three inches from the end, which will bring us to there. And then the four inches to allow for the two inch loop. Before I go any further, further, let me let you know where we get the point of the full length of the uh, ridge line we need is we'll be measuring from this point it's like I need 88 inches so I'll measure from that point down the cord to the centre here which will be the tip of the loop so when that's finished the two loops will measure from tip to tip the 88 inches which I require so if yours is 90 inches you'll measure the 90 inches between or 92 inches So let's get this done again to show you. Again, remembering to keep equal amounts of the cord. We're going to bring this through. And 
is a 3 inch point we need to bring the other end through so we'll just hook that up on the the loop there This one's going to be a little bit more awkward because you're bringing the whole loop through, which it means it's a lot thicker. Look. And there we go. And there again is the locked plumbel. So we'll just pull that again tight which has made our loop and I'll bring the tail down and we'll go just over an inch past and I'll take this up the centre again Just before the tail, and pull it through. So it comes out the end. Give it a tug, make sure it's nice and tight. And again, we'll just milk this down to hide the tail inside. The larger your Dyneema cord, the easier that is to do. And as you can imagine with something like this, working with a tool like this is very tight and fiddly. A lot of people use a piece of wire doubled over in replace of that which does exactly the same job so if we would measured the 88 inches from that point to point that would be your ridge line complete Hopefully that's helped you out in learning how to make your own structural ridge line for your hammock. And by doing so we've learned how to make a loop, a locked brummel, which is the locking to stop it sliding out again. And we've also learned how to bury the tail inside. It makes it look so much tidier. These you can buy ready-made from different companies it all depending on the length of your hammock and the way you work out how long you need one of these is normally your lengthy hammock and it's 83% of your length so that easy way is just divide it by 100 and multiply by 83 and it will give you the length of this you need So if you're not a subscriber and you've liked my video, please subscribe and press the bell button for future notifications. And if you are, thank you. And until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.